Once a military base, the Ottery Youth Care and Education Centre has become known as a place of hope. These boys all come from dislocated communities against a backdrop of poverty, substance abuse and gangsterism. At present there are 70 boys here at the Ottery Youth and Education Centre. All of them are kids in need of protection and care. And here, the focus is on helping them restore the bonds of family and community. As they marked Human Rights Day in South Africa, they paid tribute to the late Nelson Mandela and expressed their gratitude to the Stain family for their generous donation to the centre. They say this humanitarian act of kindness will go a long way towards helping them strive for a brighter future. The children that are here need all the help they can get. They're here by accident, by default, by you know, a, a, a question of circumstance that they are, were forced into from birth, said, these children are going to change my country. They are going to be the next generation that's going to lead the country. They're going to be in positions of power, hopefully, and they're going to make a difference. And I want to give them the opportunity to do that. 17-year-old Kolela Dumani came to the centre as a troubled child battling to control his anger and aggression. Today he excels at kickboxing and athletics and dreams of someday opening a gym for needy kids just like him. For a child to succeed, you need one adult, just one to be absolutely crazy about them. That in a sense gives them the license to then go out and, and, and achieve. I've seen enough over many years um, at the center, just how much kids depend on affirmation, validation. Once they get that, we just give them the wings, they fly. This center does something to me that I've said, I can't tell you, it's just, I would, if I could give them everything they need to make all the changes they need to out. My wish for Human Rights Day is that people give as much money to the centre as they possibly can to make human rights a reality. Rene Dalcom, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.